who is Jose Mourinho's next club. Before the video starts, make sure you subscribe to the channel and remember to click the bell so you get notified when we upload a video. Check out some of our previous uploads, including our video tactically analysing the Manchester United Liverpool game, where I detail how Solskjaer changed his system to end Jurgen Klopp's winning run, and our video discussing three realistic central midfield options for Manchester United to target in this January transfer window. Both videos will be linked in the description below and in the eye above. Also, if you are interested in the travelling genre of videos, check out my friend's channel. He has video vlogs of travels to Thailand and Bali and advice videos on both travelling and fitness. So go over there and subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the eye above and his newest video about the value of travelling will be linked in the description below. Jose Mourinho, the self-proclaimed special one, was the most in-demand football manager in the world, coming up to a decade ago when his Inter Milan side defied the odds and won the Champions League, dethroning the great Pep Guardiola the Barcelona side in the process. Since then, Mourinho has won leagues in Spain and England, but his last three jobs have ended in turmoil, and it now seems he's no longer on the list of the most in-demand managers. However, his career is far from over, as it seems he may still find some opportunities at some of the biggest clubs in the world. So who should Mourinho's next club be? And more importantly, maybe, who will it be? Well, let's look at some of the clubs who could potentially hand Mourinho a contract. The first and most talked about club in regards to offering Mourinho a way back into football management is Real Madrid. Despite only appointing Zidane in March, it seems that the knives are already edging out at the Bernabeu, with the relationship between Florentino Perez and Zidane bubbling, with reports that Zizou and the Real Madrid president haven't been seen eye to eye in regards to transfers, and that Perez is ready to push the red button on Zidane when the opportunity arises, which was their form in the Champions League could be sooner rather than later. So what would Mourinho offer this Real Madrid side nearly seven years after he left Los Blancos? But Mourinho would certainly assert authority in the dressing room, acting as a general who is moulding his men into the team he wants. This is something that Madrid might need, with big personalities seemingly causing problems through different periods in the season and a general feel of stagnation at the club, with so many players from the so-called previous era still being the focal points in the side. Ramos and Marcelo would certainly have to go with these big personalities certainly being responsible in part for the dramatic meltdown in the dressing room back in 2013. Throwing Mourinho into a dressing room with the exact personalities that caused so many clashes before is a recipe for disaster in my opinion. It would probably be the catalyst for the Real Madrid rebuild that should have happened in the summer, so along with Ramos and Marcelo, Cruz, Isco and Modric should also depart. Mourinho would also have available funds and presumably a degree of freedom when it comes to transfers in the same way that he did during his first spell. He'd look to use either a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, which the key players in the Madrid side, Benzema, Hazard and potentially Gareth Bale would suit. Jose should look to freshen up the centre of midfield with Cruz and Modric needing to be moved on. Casemiro would be able to fill the role of the traditional deep line destroyer in a Mourinho side in the same way that Kadira, Matic, Mota and Makaleli have done before. He could play as the anchorman at the base with two more advanced central midfielders ahead of him, or alongside a deep-line crater in the midfield double pivot with an advanced midfielder in front, which was how Ozil was deployed with Kadira and Alonso behind him. Players like Verratti, Thiago Alcantara and Fabian Ruiz would be excellent additions to the Mourinho midfield and even the likes of James Rodriguez and Isco could play in that more advanced midfield position. You'd expect Mourinho to improve Real Madrid's defensive organisation in big games, which at the moment looks uncoordinated, with Zidane's pressing system not as coherent as it should be, which leaves massive spaces in midfield, which sides like PSG have been able to exploit. Mourinho's quick transition and attacking style would also suit Hazard and Bale's attributes and Benzema's movement, awareness and interplay was a massive part of Real Madrid's devastating counter-attack back in 2012, so these three could work incredibly well in a disciplined Mourinho 4-3-3. Whether Mourinho is the perfect candidate for the Real Madrid job I'm not sure, as I think Madrid should be potentially looking at managers who can build a team over 3-5 to five years in the same way that Barcelona managers have and this would aid them in trying to topple Barcelona's domestic dominance in the long term. Whilst Mourinho could bring a league title and make Madrid look more of a force in Europe, I'm not sure he's a man to integrate potential superstars like Rodrigo, Ceballos, Vinicius Jr and Valverde into the side and a manager like Mauricio Pochettino or Leonardo Jardim could be better options. The second potential club that Mourinho could move to is Paris Saint-Germain. The French club are looking improved under Tuchel from the Emery days, but if they fail to make at least the semi-finals for an 8th consecutive season, then it's easy to see a change at the helm taking place. For me, PSG are the perfect club for Mourinho at this point in his career. This is because after a perceived failure at Manchester United and how his Chelsea career ended, Mourinho's name is somewhat tarnished. 
The fact that PSG are able to dominate Ligue 1 in most seasons will mean that Mourinho will be able to come in and at least in his first season be able to win a major trophy and lift the burden off his back. Secondly, PSG also have the finances and club structure to give Mourinho the ability to recreate this PSG side in his own image, whereas at Chelsea towards the end and at Manchester United throughout it seemed that Mourinho was being restricted in some ways with specific players they wanted to bring in and sign for a specific role in the side. As we have seen at Chelsea in both tenures, at Inter Milan and certainly at Real Madrid, if Jose is given the ability to bring in players that he wants, he can build a team capable of winning domestic leagues and challenging for the Champions League. Thirdly, the squad currently at PSG would suit a Mourinho style of management both on and off the pitch. With PSG not having any real success in Europe, there won't be the ego of senior figures in the dressing room that exists at Real Madrid, making the squad far more easy for Mourinho to mould and less likely to cause friction with senior players. PSG also have an excellent central midfield with an anchor man in Marquinhos, two energetic ball winners in Ander Herrera and Idris Gay, and two very good deep line playmakers in the shape of Leonardo Paredes and Marco Verratti. A midfield three of Verratti, Marquinhos and Gay would suit a 4-3-3 in big games in the same way that Real Madrid's 2011-2012 side had Lozano Diara, Sami Khedira and Xabi Alonso in the centre of midfield. This PSG midfield would have the ball winning ability of Marquinhos and Gay, as well as the former Everton man's incredible athleticism, accompanied with the playmaking ability of Marco Verratti. You can also see a midfield double pivot of Verratti alongside Gay or Marquinhos, with Di Maria in front in games where PSG were able to dominate possession, and with the three central midfielders, Mbappe would be able to play as a wide forward on the right, with Icardi central, and maybe someone like Ziyech or Osman Dembele on the left if Neymar were to leave. Mourinho has showed in the past at Real Madrid that he can build a side to play exciting attacking football and this PSG squad would have the hallmarks of a Mourinho side and this is why I think he'd be the perfect manager for them at this point. They aren't looking to build a team for the next 3-5 to five years, they need to get over the hump of the Champions League failure and Mourinho's track record shows that he can do this. The next option for Mourinho is a pretty left field one that has emerged in the media recently and that is Borussia Dortmund. Lucien Favre is coming under fire and reports suggest that Dortmund are in talks with Mourinho should they pull the trigger on Favre. Mourinho's profile would be a change from what Dortmund usually pursue when appointing a new manager. Klopp, Tuchel, Peter Bosch and Favre have all been coaches who are offensively minded in their style of play, are very good player developers and can build a side with a limited budget made up of sales from top players. Mourinho isn't really known for any of these. You could look at his Real Madrid 2012 and Chelsea 2005 sides and call them very offensively minded, but if you look at his general setup across every team that he has managed, they all follow the same theme of being positionally structured, limited offensive fluidity and devastating counter-attacks that Mourinho has created and are usually formed with world-class players in a structured system. At Dortmund, Mourinho wouldn't have a 100 million net plus budget to spend, so player development would be vital. The at United players like Rashford, Martial, Pogba and Luke Shaw struggled to develop in the same way that they would have under Pep Guardiola or Jurgen Klopp. Mourinho doesn't coach players to become better players, he coaches them to become a better team and this is why I think Mourinho at a side like PSG or Real Madrid with the finished article type players would excel a lot more than at a side like Dortmund where players like Hakimi, Guerrero, Akanji and Sancho need development further to become those world class players. Another potential option for Mourinho would be his former club Porto where he won the UEFA Cup, Champions League and League title twice. He'd be a returning legend and the job would seemingly fit into Mourinho's plan as if he were to wrestle the Portuguese league title away from Benfica then this would be a massive achievement and would be classed as a great success for Mourinho, restoring his reputation. Whereas winning the league with PSG would almost be considered part of the job and like at Real Madrid the success of his tenure would be judged on his success in Europe rather than domestically. Porto do have the personnel suited to a Mourinho style of play, with Pepe at centre back, two ball winning midfielders in Uribe and Danilo Pereira, as well as a powerful centre forward in Morega, so Mourinho wouldn't have to completely tear up the squad when coming in. Overall I think that the club that Mourinho should be looking to go to is PSG. This is because they are the most dominant side domestically which will aid Mourinho's reputation in the short run and they have the squad to fit a Mourinho style of play both on and off the pitch. It seems like the least risky option with the highest returns as if he can become the first manager to win the Champions League with PSG then that will almost put him back at the level he was when he won it with Inter Milan.
Real Madrid would be a more risky option with the volatile nature of the club possibly being too much of a risk for Mourinho to take at this stage of his career. Though I do think that this is his most likely next job with Zidane under fire and Perez seemingly keen to bring back Mourinho. Even though I think from Madrid's point of view, Mourinho wouldn't solve any of the underlying issues at the club and a manager like Mauricio Pochettino, Julian Nagelsmann or Leonardo Jardim who could rebuild the club for the next 3-5 to five years would be better options for Los Blancos. Thank you for watching, remember to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and click the bell so you get notified when we upload videos. We will be releasing a video this week analysing what if Pep Guardiola had gone to Manchester United in 2016 and Jose Mourinho had gone to City in 2016, how would that have turned out? So that video will be up soon so subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get notified when that video comes out.